Have you ever wondered where does the water go when it rains or when the snow melts? How can someone in Mexico get the same water that we have in Saskatchewan? And how are the water systems interconnected? These questions can be answered and explained with the term watershed. A watershed is an area of land where all the water on the land drains into one main lake, river, and then on to a major body of water. So in this picture, this shows a, a watershed, so it shows all of the water draining into finally coming to this at the end, the lake at the end. Watersheds show the interconnectedness of our water systems or aquatic systems and understanding this interconnectedness is key to protecting our fresh water. To better understand watersheds, how and why water flows where it does, you have to look closer at the continental watershed map. This map shows the major watersheds in Canada. The continental divide determines where water will flow. It's the highest point on the continent. In Canada, the Rocky Mountains are the highest point. Anything east of this divide will flow east into the Arctic or Atlantic Ocean, and anything west of the divide will flow into the Pacific Ocean. Saskatchewan is east of the Continental Divide. Some of its waters flow north to the Arctic Ocean, and some flow east to the Hudson Bay. Oops, sorry, that's east to the Hudson Bay. And some flow into the Gulf of Mexico, so south, and will flow eventually down into the Gulf of Mexico and into the Ar Atlantic Ocean. If we look closer at Saskatchewan, it's divided into 29 smaller watersheds with 10 major basins in the province. Some of these basins include the South Saskatchewan River, the North Saskatchewan River, Assiniboine River, Coppell River, and Lake Winnipegosis. Porcupine Plain is part of the Lake Winnipegosis watershed. Essentially, as water flows in Saskatchewan or in Porcupine, it flows into Manitoba and into the major basin of Lake Winnipegosis. Cities and towns are built with water flow in mind. If it, this is not considered, flooding and devastation can occur. In Porcupine, when the school was built, there is consideration made to water flow and runoff. A great example of this can be seen in the spring when the snow starts to melt. The ditches around the school become fast flowing rivers of water that are being diverted by near to nearby creeks, streams, and eventually would meet up with a river. Watersheds can be traced from globally to continentally to provincially to locally and finally down to um, a town, a specific town or area of land. What I would like you to do as a formative assessment is explain how do watersheds connect our water systems. So in this video I talked about different watersheds and the different level of watersheds. What I would like you to do is think about how all of those watersheds or the levels of watersheds are connected and answer those questions like how does someone in Mexico have the same water that someone in Saskatchewan has and how is the water system how is the water system interconnected